Oh god. Oh my goodness. Oh, looks like somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Are you sure this is the place? There's a police officer outside. Oh, I was driving. Good. Don't drink and drive, kids. Are you sure this is the place? Hank. Look, there's a cop there. Ambulance. Sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. Us androids don't need sex. Oh god, unless... Oh god. I will take number five. Connor, no, this is... the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Coming, Lieutenant. <laughs> Am I cut? Oh. Available. Investigations ongoing, sir. I can't tell you anything for the moment. Oh, hey, you can Hank. tell he's a creepazoid already. <laughs> Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? Like wasting time. There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. Come on, let's go. It's uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Jackass. Night, Lieutenant. I've got two, two things. Diagnose. Oh, that's awesome. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, hey! Oh, Connor, you're so disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. Interesting, she just died? Oh, how convenient, I found all three already. Michael Graham. Severe bruising. No, no signs of cardiac arrest, heart attack did not cause death. The victim was strangled. He didn't die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. Doesn't prove anything, though. Could have been set. Play. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? Of course. It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. Well, clearly, that came undone. Boop. Uh, soothe. Calm down. Everything's all right. 
All we want is to know what happened. Is he... Is he dead? Facts. Tell me what happened. He started... hitting me. Again. And again. Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. Alone. Were you alone in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted us to play with two girls. That's what he said, there was two of us. Where did the other android go? Did it say anything? Well, at least we know there's another one. So there was another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. Think you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place? I can... Deviants aren't easily detected. I can try, though. It's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness, somebody who saw it leave in the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Did you know the victim? No, I mean, he came in. Maybe two, three times. I mean, these guys, they don't really talk very much, you know? Come in, do their business, and then go on their way. You ever had him in trouble with androids before? No way. I know what I can do. Access one of the androids' um, memory. Once. We lost a model two, three months back. Same model. Just vanished. We never found out what happened. Probably don't have any CCTV in here. <laughs> no way. Excuse me, Lieutenant. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor, we got better <laughs> things to do. Please, Lieutenant. <laughs> Just trust me. Oh, this is this is a this is a terrible looking screen. Holy oh, shit! What the hell are you doing? That one? A blue-haired Tracy headed towards the entrance. It saw something. What are you talking about? Saw what? The deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. That's all right. Hey, what am I supposed to do with this one? Tell it you changed your mind. Uh, uh, so Let's try this one. This better be... Oh, there. And turn to the back of the club. It saw the blue-haired Tracy. I know which way it went. Then go for it. There. There are androids everywhere. How are you going to tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? I know which direct... Into the red room. Oh.
You. Sick moves, bro. No, I lost its track again. Okay. Well, it's gonna have to be one of you then. Hank. There it is. Turn to the blue room. This is some wild goose chase shit. Hank, this one. Nothing as well? You didn't see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. This has got to be the most expensive investigation of my career. I'm sorry, detective, but... They hid in a room. Thank you. The room. Maybe you saw something. No. Nothing. Blue haired Tracy didn't come this way. <coughs> How long do I have? I didn't, didn't see anything. Thirty five seconds. I made a somewhere. Cleaner. <gasps> there you It fled through the staff door. I know where it went. Follow me. Oh, fucking A. This is crazy. Oh, thank goodness. I did it. Wait. I'll take it from here. Necessarily. Doesn't really tell me anything. So they break and then they get tossed out. Um, there's a 
a screwdriver in the floor, and then uh, there's the exit. Oh, look, a reed. Oh, we got some time now. The first immortals among us. Nano machines, son. Despite huge advances in medicine, many diseases continue to elude the best efforts of doctors and surgeons. But that may be about to change. Cyberlife has this developed a nano android capable of entering the patient's body programmed into combat cancer cells boost the immune system so this is how metal gear begins new superpowers what well, brazil and south africa people are fucking insane they don't want relationships anymore everybody just gets an android they cook what you want they screw when you want you don't have to worry about how <laughs> oh there's a lot of they feel Next thing you know, we're going to be extinct because everybody would rather buy a piece of plastic than to love another human being. Beats me. RA9. Huh. Come on, Connor. This... This does control a little bad, though. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't move. Oh, that's wrong. Sorry. Oh god! It's like a... Oh no... Oh, I didn't see that! I will spare... Oh! Tracy I knew I was next I was so scared I begged him to stop but he wouldn't and so I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving I didn't mean to kill him I just wanted to stay alive Get back to the one I love. No, no, I no. I her to hold me in her arms again. Make me forget about the humans. Their smell of sweat. And their dirty words. Come on. Let's go.
probably better this way. <laughs> so there was another way to find the android but it just leads to nothing oh wow it could it could have just ended there